Hey guys! Hey girls! Hey boys! If you are new to my channel, my name is Madi, also known as Marbajari here on YouTube. Hello, welcome to my channel. So as you guys can tell by today's title, I am doing a full face of Morphe in which I achieved this look using all Morphe products. Not only am I using all Morphe, but, but, I just spit. <laughs> But I am trying out the new Morphe Fluidity Foundation as well as a concealer. And girl, you saw the reviews everywhere. You see all the tea. You see it all. And I'm going to let you know my deepest thoughts on these two right here. And I am shook. I was so shook. You guys have no idea. Everyone expects you to think it's bad. But let me just say, keep on watching if you want to see my thoughts. Because girl, had me shook. Shook. And yeah, I'm so excited to do a full face of Morphe or a full face of one brand in general because I see these everywhere and I really like it, but I haven't really tried. I mean, I did kind of like a full face Maybelline in the past. I have that link down below, but I definitely want to do another one of these because it made me try out more products that I have never tried before. Some were good, some were bad. But if you guys want to find out which of those products I liked and which of them... I didn't like so much I suggest you keep on watching but before we start this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you get notified every single time I post and without further ado let's just get right into the video so we are just going to go straight into this full face of Morphe not only am I doing a full face of Morphe but but I am trying out the new Morphe Fluidity Foundation as well as their concealer. And girl, we'll get to the T on this. I'm pretty sure everybody has seen it everywhere on YouTube. Like, there is some mixed reviews. So I'm a little iffy about this, but I'm excited. So it's kind of like a first impressions review and full face of Morphe. So we're gonna go in with the eyes first because that's what I normally do. Um, nothing new with the palettes. I'm just probably gonna go into like my Jaclyn Hill palette or my James palette. Nothing too special. Um, it is my sister's birthday, so we are going out after this. So I pray, I hope that this foundation works out because we're gonna be taking pictures today and it's really gonna be put to the test. So let's just get right into the eyes so I will have all of the colors of the eyeshadows somewhere over here down here because I'm just gonna get my zone I don't want to take too long because I'm not trying to have everybody wait for me on my sister's birthday because that is disrespect mad disrespectful so I'm gonna put some seven rings on by Ariana Grande and in the zone much the finish I look something just like peachy neutral tones you know my go-to so I actually do not have um, morphe lashes right now I just have my go-to lashes which are the batty B ones this is in the style extra so these always just make my eye look look super bomb so I'm going to use this kind of cheating the game right here but sorry so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these off camera and your girl will be Angel just broke something. And your girl will be right back. Now the lashes are on. And see what I mean? Like, these lashes are just so good. Like, I haven't found anything better than these in a while. Now we're going to move on to foundation. I'm a little scared, a little iffy. All right, we're just going to do it. Um, disclaimer, I don't have a primer. And I'm going to make it fair. So I'm not going to use a primer. Um... I didn't get the Morphe primer. I don't know. I just didn't feel like I needed it. Again, primers, is it in our head? Does it actually do the job? Doesn't matter. We're going to be using no primer today, but I do have all my moisturizers on skincare routine. I'll have it up here. 
So there are 60 shades of this Morphe Fluidity Foundation. Let me tell you, when I was swatching these, it would go from really peachy pink to very olive green. Like, it was kind of hard for me to find this foundation. So I hope, I hope and pray it does not oxidize too much because, again, I am going out after this and I do not want to look crazy. So this is the Morphe Fluidity Foundation. It is a matte foundation full coverage and I am the shade F2.20 I don't know how that foundation number works there's probably a whole explanation but your girl just swatched and this was like the best one so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my beauty blender and apply this to the face and hope it works I swatched this in the store yesterday the lighting was kind of weird and it is very watery so I was like oh no please not be too light this smell smells like paint, but it kind of reminds me of the Wet n Wild foundation. It's exactly what it smells like. I'm not going to lie though, it makes my skin look really nice. The thing is, I do get really dry right here, but oily on my nose, so I hope this doesn't start like peeling, you know? Yeah, see, my face looks kind of white, but in person, it's like literally like the perfect MAC. If I end up liking this foundation, I'm gonna be so shook. Don't believe what everybody says, you know? You never know what might work for you. Okay, so first, right off the bat, they were not playing when they said that this foundation was matte. Like, girl, my face looks set already, so I don't even know if I wanna go in up with the powder. Okay, I'm gonna have to look, it's tacky. It literally matches my neck perfectly. But everybody made it seem like this foundation was terrible. Although, I just don't like how it gets dry around the nose. So, I'm gonna spray my face with some setting spray. I don't have my Morphe one because I ran out. So I'm just gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray just to let it like soak in. And then go with the Beauty Blender and just like pounce it in some more. Okay, so now for the concealer, where did I put it? I picked up the shade C1.35. It is really light because, again, with the shades, they were kind of weird. It would be either too light or too dark, and obviously, I'd rather have a brighter under eye than um, one darker than my foundation. So I have a feeling this is going to be really light. <sighs> I don't know, but I gotta stop doubting. Just try it. Again, it has that same smell. I don't really care, but... Oh, shit. Let me just blend that first. And I'm using my little Sonia Kashuk sponge. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. That's definitely going to give me flashback. I can't. No. Mm -mm. No, bro. This is a no-go. Oh okay, I'm not doing that. I'm putting my Too Faced one on. I can't. Heck no. Oh my god. Oh my god. We'll just blend those out together, okay? I must have just got the wrong color, but the way that it literally dried so fast. Okay, just so it matches and it's like the same brightness, I'm going to apply both of them again. Just a little. Just a little. That concealer was definitely a no for me. Um, not only was it too light, I did get the wrong shade, I guess, but in, in the store, it looked really yellow. And now when I put it on, it went white when I tried to blend it out. So I was like, there's no way I can wear that. Um, and also, I noticed, even though I didn't have it on for that long because it was, I noticed the color, it dried really fast. Like... When I tried blending it out, you can see where the concealer was put. So I'm going to have to say no to this. I mean, maybe try it in another shade, but the way that it was blending was a no-go for me. I wanted to just seamlessly blend out like with my foundation, not on top of it. So no Morphe, sorry. No concealer for me. Ooh, girl. Okay, so... Now to set under the eyes, Morphe does not have a loose powder and I have to set my under eyes with a loose powder. Like I can't use a solid. I just feel like it just cakes up. So I'm gonna just use my Laura Mercier powder off camera so y'all don't have to worry about 
me lying or saying it's a full face morphe when it's not okay so again i said this foundation is very matte i honestly don't think i'm about to set it but in order for my bronzer not to slip i feel like i should set a little bit because it feels tacky still but it's super matte so i'm just gonna go in with my laura mercier powder just briefly dust it all over all right so now that that's that my skin is looking pretty nice so i don't want to look too matte and dry you know so i'm gonna go in with my urban decay setting spray spray one more time i do this even when i'm doing my regular makeup because i feel like it just keeps the makeup in place longer so don't mind me so now for bronzer, I have the Morphe Debutante Bronzer. And then I have this little blush kit that I got. It has a blush, a little shimmery blush. And sorry, I'm looking at the mirror. I don't know why. And there is a bronzer in here, but I don't know if it's going to be too pink. I'll probably mix the both of them. Okay, so I'm going to mix the Morphe Debutante Bronzer along with this little blush kit in... This one is Unpologetic. And by the way, this is the Blush Trio in Pop of Coral. So again, I'm going to take that bronzing shade, but mix it with this one. Because I feel like this one's too dark and this one's too light. So I'm just going to go in with both of them. Okay, so I am not hating this bronzer combo. It looks really good. Okay, Morphe. Okay. All right, so I went ahead and baked because I like to have those carved cheekbones, you know. So I'm going to go back into the blush trio and take the shade Boss and then maybe apply a little bit of Fierce on top of it just to get that little Fierce glow because we're looking real matte. Hey, 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 hey. That blush, oh my gosh, this whole combo, I'm so happy it's working out because I was just iffy about doing a video when I'm going out because, you know, once you got this on, you gotta go. <laughs> it's coming out good. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my face one more time because I'm crazy. I need one of those fans, like the electric fans. I think I saw Jaclyn Hill do it. It's like zzz, 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 drying your face. We need that because when this happens, can you guys see that? Too thick of a setting spray. Okay, so now for highlight, I have the Morphe Spark highlight. Oh my, my hair's everywhere, but we're almost done. I'm gonna fix it. Don't worry about it. Okay. So I have the Morphe Spark highlight, but then I was like, no, 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 no. Why am I gonna use that when James gave us a highlight in this palette and it's so freaking bomb. So I'm going to use the shade Face. My dog is just going off. So if you want a bomb highlight, we're gonna go in James' palette. We're gonna take the shade Face. I'm going to be using Morphe's M501 brush and the M310 brush to blind y'all. Alright, so I zoomed you guys back up close. Let me get closer. Back into the eyes because we're going to smoke out this lower lash line. So I'm going to go back into the Morphe, Jaclyn Hill, the two palettes that I used earlier. I keep saying Morphe, but obviously it's Morphe, girl. Get it together. And I'm pretty much going to take all the shades that I used in my crease. So like Creamsicle, Mug Shots, what other one was it? Pukey. All those matte shades, they're going to go on my lower lash line. And to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to use the highlight that I use on my face, which is the face color from the James Charles palette. And I'm just using a Morphe M515 brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara. Morphe does not have mascara, so I'm going to be using my Benefits They're Real Mascara. Okay, so last but certainly not least, for the lips, I'm going to be taking my Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. This is my go-to lip liner. I use it all the time, and I'm just going to put it all over because I don't have a Morphe lipstick. So we're just going to use this for the lips today. I was about to film.
film that outro without pressing record. Mm. Anyways, this is the finished makeup look and I am so impressed and happy just with how the Morphe um, Fluidity Foundation worked. I saw a lot of mixed reviews but mostly bad reviews. Everybody said they hated it. Again, um, it looks great right now. I'm gonna have to see how it wears throughout the day. But my face looks really nice. It is super matte, but also we got that highlight going on. But I don't know why everybody was saying it was terrible. Like, it does not look bad at all. I really like it. And obviously the eyes, bomb. Jaclyn Hills palette, amazing. The concealer is gonna have to be a no for me. I did not like it at all, as I explained. It was, it was too light for me, that's my fault, but the way the um, consistency felt, it was really thick, but it also just sat on top of the foundation, which I do not like. Um, the blush kit, oh my gosh, it is so good. I've never picked up a blush kit from Morphe before, and I'm so happy that I did. I usually stay away from the kits because usually it's just like one of them works good, the other ones aren't the best, but everything in this little trio was great and yeah i'm so happy i did this full face morphe or full face of brand in general because it actually made me try out new products that i haven't tried before so i definitely want to do another full face of something another brand in the future i really enjoyed it i liked it oh my god i'm just so happy that this foundation worked i was skeptical because of again the reviews that i saw this foundation is not all that bad it is really good you guys got to try this and it was only 18 bucks. I kind of thought that was a lot. I don't know, 18 bucks was kind of iffy for me, but now that I have it, it's freaking worth it, and this concealer is a no-go. Oh my God, I'm just so happy with that foundation. It's crazy. Oh my God. Anyways, I'm just gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you would like to see in the future. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my new Angels channel, which is MA Forever Ever. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you're notified every single time your girl posts. Stay blooming, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. I, 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 I,